our favorite celebrities immortalized in cement on the famous Walk of Stars on Hollywood Boulevard. Goodness, everything is so much larger than life here. Oh, but look how tiny Carrie Wood Duck's slippers were and Tracy Teal's. <laughs> yes, most actors are small. It makes them easier to fit into the frame. <sighs> Being here makes me remember how I've always wanted to get into the acting game. Goodness, look how big Buster Pochard's flippers were. <laughs> A comedian. I'm more the dramatic sort. Ooh. Maybe one day ducks from all over the world will come here to look at my flippers. Still, you can't get carried away by all this Hollywood stardust, Andy. They're just ducks like you and, and me. 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 Mia, the movie star. Mia Pintail. Cement so thick. Thank you for saving me, you brave, brave duck. All in the line of duty, ma'am. I'm just here on vacation with my auntie. <gasps> Why, that's that's yes, A and I hurry, get inside. You're the world famous duck detective, Miss Mallard, aren't you? I knew it. Why, you're almost as big a star as me. I've always wanted to play you in a movie, darling. Fabulous idea. I'm available to play her nephew, Inspector Willard Widgeon of the Swiss police. Now, I don't want to toot my own horn, but people have always told me I have acting talent, and, well, I just happen to be Willard Widgeon. Mia, I saw everything. Were you hurt? No, no, I'm fine, sweetie. But what are you doing here, Edith? You should be on set. Oh, uh, uh, Walter gave us the morning off. How lucky! See you back on set. Take us to the set, please. And as quickly as possible, we must get out of these yucky clothes before the cement dries. That was Edith Eider, my stunt duck and stand-in. Such a mother hen, always worried about my dangerous scenes, which is why I need your help. Halfway through shooting my new movie, all sorts of strange and mysterious accidents have happened to me. Like that mucky business back there. Could you possibly fit time in your busy, busy schedule to come investigate? We're shooting at the Ladrake Tar Pits and... You must be filming Dino Ducks of the Deep. I've read all about it. I never turn down a mystery. It would be best, though, to go undercover. As actors, in the movie. Uh, but I'm concerned someone will recognize me. There. You could be anyone. But my knitting bag, I must have it with me at all times. Not to worry. We'll make it part of your costume. Explorers always have a bag or a carrying case of some kind with them. Everything will be fine, darling. Look, Andy. The Ladrick Tar Pits. Thousands of skeletons of Ice Age beasts like the Mamma Duck and Saber Beak Duck are preserved in all that tar. Luckily, we still have two roles to fill. My sister is the wardrobe mistress, so she can fit you up and then no one will recognize you. <gasps> Mia, what happened to your clothes? Don't ask, Clarissa, dear. Uh, may I introduce you to our two new actors? This is, um, Dame May Mallard and Sir Larry Witchin. Dame May is going to play the explorer, and Sir Larry is going to play the frightened farmer. Has Walter approved him? You know perfectly well that as star of this picture, I'm allowed certain casting decisions without director's approval. Now I must get out of these yucky clothes. 
you know perfectly well that a star... And would she be such a star if it wasn't for all those high school plays I directed her in? Hey! Talk about disguises! Mia? Yes, I'm the beautiful young countess who saves the village from that nasty Tyrannodocosaurus. Easy does it. Don't let that thing touch my tar pits. How's it going, Snipe? Is the camera ready for this shot? Almost, Walter. But I thought it would be really cool if we had a bunch of other dino ducks run over the cliff and splash into... Not into the tar pits. As supervising paleontologist, I'm here to ensure these pits aren't disturbed during the shooting of your full dino duck horror film. I can get a dozen more made up, no problem. We wouldn't even need me in the scene, because... Snipe, we only need one dino duck. Dr. Butterball, we won't spoil your beloved tar pits. And I'd like to ask both of you... Who's directing this movie anyway? That's Walter Scott. He's the director, writer, and producer. So he's a bit on edge. Walter, darling, I want you to meet our two new actors. They've come all the way from England. Actually, I'm from Switzerland. We're lucky oh. to have them. They're RADA, Royal Academy of the Dramatic Arts, don't you know? Dame May Mallard and Sir Larry Widgeon. Look, Mia, I can't afford any fancy schmancy English actors. I'm already way over budget as it is, oh, and... no, 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 no. They'll do it for scale. Just for the opportunity of working with a genius like you. Oh, well, uh, fine then. All right, listen up, everyone. Okay, Mia, you come running down that hill between those two trees. Mia? <laughs> nope, the true star, Edith, the stunt duck. Then, cut to Edith, who tumbles down the hill, over the cliff, into the dino duck's jaws and bounces safely off its tongue. You, farmer, quack real frightened. Quack! And you, explorer, try to stop Mia before she goes over the cliff, but miss. Just an idea, Walter, old chap. Instead of a scream, uh, maybe I could say... Oh, no! Oh, no! The Countess is about to fall into the deadly jaws of that dreadful Tyrannodocosaurus! Just quack. Okay, farmer? Who wrote this movie anyway? Gracious, isn't that an awfully long drop? Oh, I do stuff like this all the time. And you see his tongue? That's a big bouncy airbag. Places, everyone! Roll up! Great, Walter. I got it all. Just change the story so that the Countess and the Explorer are eaten by the Tyrannodocosaurus, and then my army of dino ducks can... Get them out of that thing! I could direct this movie better than him. We're all right, everybody! Actually, it's rather comfy. I've never been on such a jinx shoot. It's like someone who's got it in for me wants me to quit. What would happen then? Don't know. But I'm sure Walter's taken care of it in the film's insurance policy. The director and Mr. Snipe, they don't seem to get along very well. You got that right, honey. Snipe, our genius behind the camera, doesn't think Walter can handle the job of directing. He probably wishes the film would grind to a halt. Then he could step in and try to save the day. I tell you, if I could do this all again... I wouldn't! Don't worry. I've got this baby wired. They'll be out in a jiffy. Hey! Don't do that! You'll chip the paint! Lo, but are not two lives worth more than mere chips of paint? I told you to get away from there! Look, I'm just trying to help. Listen, buddy, I don't care. You listen, buddy, you're gonna wreck my dino dog. Oh, 
wasn't all that bad. A tad claustrophobic, perhaps? I heard that crack about the dreadful dress. You weren't hurt, were you, Mia? That shoddy model of yours could have sunk into the pits and got mixed up with real skeletons. I can't believe I agreed to letting you shoot your film here. I can't believe we let you be a consultant. You never let us get anywhere close to the pits. Uh, come, Sir Larry. Let's take a little walk. Now, Mia tripped and fell somewhere around here. Oh, oh. Very good, Willard. You found an important clue. Glad I could be of service, I think. Places, everyone. Next scene. The insurance policy. In the event that Mia Pintail is unable to finish filming, Walter Scott Productions shall be awarded the sum I of... I said places, everyone. You're getting too close. Too close to the pits. Careful. Careful. I can't believe I agreed to this. I should have just gone ahead and put a fence around the entire Drake tar pits, as I had planned. In fact, I've got all the materials here, ready to put up if you don't get your act together. Funny, I've never seen fence posts like this. They actually look like pipes for drilling and pumping. Ready for the tracking shot, Snipe? Good. Mia, explorer! Okay, the Countess has narrowly escaped the Dino Duck's jaws. The explorer finds her dazed by the Dino Swamp. You two walk along here discussing plans how to get rid of the beast. Got that? But Mia, the Countess didn't escape from the Dino Duck. We were both trapped inside. I don't know how they make movies in England, but here we don't shoot everything in order. We go to a nice little room and paste them together. It's called editing. And if I have to waste any more time explaining these things, we'll be triple over budget. Don't mind, Walter. This is the first film he's produced, so his own money is on the line. So, he's got a lot to lose if the movie isn't made. Sure. He's already spent a lot, but he'll make it all back. This movie has all the makings of a hit, especially because of the stars. That loathsome Dino Duck has sacked my castle and is now about to set upon the village. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what can I do? John! Ah! Great. Just Mia. great. Oh, poor Mia. Ah! Ah! <gasps> My top pitch! Why me? Why me? <gasps> How dare you assail the tar pits? Who knows how many bones you may have disturbed? Make up! Get the tar off the farmer! While they're doing that, Willard, I'll go look for clues. That crazy camera cart rushing toward me. Uh... Oh, it should have been me, Mia. You weren't meant to suffer so. Yep, gotta keep those stars from suffering. <laughs> Just kidding, sis. Taylor's chalk and a dressmaker's ruler. I'm the director. So you say. These are my tar pits, and you've broken our arrangement. I don't care about your tar pits. I've got a movie to shoot. If that's what you call it. Stop it, all of you, or I'm going to quit this film right now. No, Mia, no. As your stunt duck, it was I who 
should have been there to protect you. Oh, quitting won't be necessary, Mia. I have more than enough evidence as to who has been behind these attacks. Miss Mallard? The detective? You're not an actress. Oh, being a detective requires a lot of acting skill, if one wishes to snare the guilty party. So who's he? Bella Fitton, the Swiss police. Uh, Willard Widgeon of the Swiss police. There was a scene like this in my last movie, The Mystery on the Moors, where Mia, the magistrate, confronts evil Monroe and says... T'was you, Monroe, on the moors, the morning Mona vanished. Say, that's quite good. <laughs> Thank you. I always memorize Mia's lines. I think it makes my stance more believable. I'm sure we all want to get to the bottom of these distressing incidents against Mia. Unfortunately, most of you are suspects. <gasps> Shall we start with you, Walter? What? But I'm the writer, director, and producer. Why would I sabotage my own movie? So Walter Scott Productions could collect the $50 million from your insurance policy. In the event that Mia Pintail is unable to finish filming... This movie's already gone triple over that! Which is another reason you might want the movie to come to an abrupt end. Uh, but no, I don't believe you are the culprit. Especially when you've gone to so much trouble to make a hit movie. Sure. He's already spent a lot, but he'll make it all back. This movie has all the makings of a hit, especially because of the star. Now, Mr. Snipe, on the other hand, you felt that Mia was a distraction from the true star, your dino duck. In fact, you wanted dozens more of them and had an interesting story idea. Just change the story so that the Countess and the Explorer eaten by the Tyrannodocus And Willard told me he I heard you say you could direct him. the movie better than Walter. I, I, I didn't mean really eaten. I, I never want to hurt Mia. It's only a movie. And the only way for anyone to see your creations would be if the movie were completed. And yes, it is only a movie. Or as Dr. Bertram Butterball referred to it... ...of your fool dino duck horror film. Naturally, as a paleontologist, I'm offended by this unscientific nonsense. I'm only interested in history. Is that so? Then how do you explain those pipes you say are for fencing, when clearly they are meant for drilling and pumping? You were almost too concerned about disturbing the tar pits because you had discovered oil under the tar. You were just about to drill illegally when you found out a permit for shooting the film had been issued, so you became a consultant to make sure no one else would discover the oil. Wow, your aunt is good. All right, all right. I wanted to drill this site and would have done so before anyone could stop me. But that doesn't mean I was sabotaging the movie. Yes, yes, I believe you, Mr. Butterball. And now the tar pits are safe from your ravages. Now, on to Clarissa. Oh, please, me as my own sister. Yes, and a very successful and talented sister at that. You know perfectly well that a star... And would she be such a star if it wasn't for all those high school plays I directed her in? Are you implying I'm jealous? Well, I'm not. I'm perfectly happy in wardrobe. Then I hope you'll be happy with the return of these tools of your trade. Because every one was found on the scene of Mia's accidents. The tape measure that tripped Mia, sending her rolling for the cliff. A pair of dressmaker's shears jammed into the hinge of the dino duck's jaws to trap Mia. And, I might add, me inside. Taylor's chalk to mark the spot, and the metal ruler that derailed the camera cart that headed right for Mia. I... I didn't do it. Why would I? She's my kid sister. I'm innocent, I tell you. Of course you're innocent. These clues are far too obvious. You've been framed. <laughs> Who would truly benefit if Mia quit? The movie is more than half made and over budget, so Walter would probably have to find another actress to finish it, or he would lose everything. 
Someone who looks very much like Mia knows all her lines and can do all her own stunts. Someone like you, Edith. What? You know, it's odd. You're a stunt duck, but I never once saw you do a stunt. Only act. And though I do hate to be a critic, rather poorly. Except when you were playing the part of a work duck, troweling the cement before Mia sunk in. Though you did forget some of your costume then. And Mia was surprised to see you at her ceremony on Hollywood Boulevard. So that's where you were. We waited and waited, and you didn't even show. She said you had given everyone the morning off. Oh, no, you don't. Now that's what I call a stunt. My tar pit. Help! I'm sinking! Help! So, thought you could get away with it, didn't you? You fiend! That's quite enough drama, Willard. Remember who you are. A detective. Guess that's who I'll always be. I can't believe all of this was going on on my shoot. And I didn't even know it. I've been doing too much. And none of it well. It's time I gave up one of my jobs.